Thank you so much, Coco. Thank you so much, Chama, for having me. Uh, my name is Bala Okidjeve. And a lot is going on in the world of sports. A lot of sporting events coming back and a lot taking a pause. And we're starting from nowhere but Nigeria. No relegation, no promotion, insists club chairman. Members of Club Owners Association have voted against the restart of the Nigerian professional football league season, insisting that no club will be relegated or promoted. 20 MPFL club chairmen were involved in the virtual voting process, the best option to end the MPFL 2019-20 season, with 17 of them voting to the end of the season. With the top three clubs representing Nigeria at the CAF competition via points per game table, the club also voted that no club should be relegated to the lower division or promoted from the second tier league to the top flight. Chairman of the Club Owners Association, Isaac Danladi, said, open quote, we had virtual meetings and we had four options and viable options were reduced to two, which is stopping the league and the calculate, I beg your pardon, and the points per game, which is standard, he said. He also added practice because not all teams have played the equal numbers of games. This will allow the first three teams to represent the country on the continent and there will be no promotion and no regulation. Um, close quote. Interesting one we have in the MPFL as lockdown said no more, no more. So hopes of seeing um, the Nigerian Premier League resume action um, has been dashed. But the good news is no promotion and no relegation. Uh, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed to see how that goes on. Moving elsewhere, we're talking Anthony Joshua and Kubert Pulif will fight will happen in November, although concerns about AJ's fitness. Eddie Hine, who is Anthony Joshua's promoter, is confident that Anthony Joshua's mandatory fight against Kubert Pulif would take place in November. In front of the fans, uh, the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight champion was scheduled to fight the Bulgarian at Tottenham Hospital Stadium this month. But the bout was postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak. Now, after a two-fight financial agreement was agreed between AJ and Tyson Fury for next year, promoter Eddie Hine revealed he hopes Joshua's next fight against Pulif will take place at the end of the year. Uh, Wes uh, also saying Joshua's recent injury is nothing to be overly concerned about. In quote, he said, I feel like the Pulif fight will happen in November. AJ has a very minor knee niggle that was wrapped up, but is coming up shortly. So it won't cause problems with the date, and I expect the fight to happen around November. Joshua was pictured on June 6 at the Black Lives Matter protest in Watford on crutches with concerns emerging on his fitness for the fight this year. But Hine revealed that the 30-year-old would not require surgery. So that's good news for Nigerians and I'm sure good news for UK and of course the boxing fans because we want to see a lot of good fights happen. After purely if Joshua defeats purely, he'll be facing, um, he'll be facing Tyson Fury, which is a mouth-watering fight. All right, last that we have for you, we're talking about Formula One initiates equality and diversity tax force. The move is a part of a wider commitment that will also see Formula One support initiatives fighting the coronavirus pandemic and promote sustainability and of course concise with the start of the delayed 2020 season in Austria in July. At the first race in Austria Formula One, I will stand to say loud and clear that racism must end. This was said by Buzz Chase Carey. He also added, open quote, we will show our full support in fighting equality through the weekend and accelerate our own efforts to make Formula One more diverse and inclusive as a global sport. We must represent and diversify and social concerns of our fans, but we also need to listen more and understand what happened and what needs to be done with delivering. And this is the latest of series of steps taken from Formula One at its six to play a responsible role in the global community. Last year, it was announced that it becomes a plan of net zero carbon by 2030 and is working on a plan for its next year generation of engines to be introduced in the year 2026 to use synthetic fuels which are made by capturing carbon from the atmosphere. Like we all know, technology is a good thing, but depends on how you use it. We'll see how that comes up. That's all from the Spot Decks. Over to you, Coco and Shama.